So this is part 3 of the tutorial and in this we will look at getting our, ca our character teleported to the underworld once he um, presses a key down here. So for this first thing we need is a pipe. The pipe is made in Blender. I'll quickly show you guys how to make that. So inside Blender we'll uh, double click A to delete everything then shift A and we'll just add a cylinder. I'll press 1 and 5 on the number pad, move this up, and press Alt, Control, Shift, and C. Then we'll make this bigger. Press Tab. We will select the top face and delete faces. And the same thing with the bottom face. Then I'll go to Add Select and I'll select all the top edges. And I'll press E, Scale Out. Press E, take this up. Press E and scale in. Now press Z for wireframe mode. So you want to scale in about here. And then press E, press 1, and take this all the way down. And there we have it. So we have a pipe. Now we can also um, go and use smooth um, shading if you want. We don't really need to um, unwrap this, but we can press tab, press A, unwrap and small GV project and OK. Now we can just go ahead, file and export this as an FPX. Once you have exported this, we'll head over to Unreal Engine. You want to import it in here, as I have down here. And I just made a simple green material for this. So the material basically uses um, two colors, two different colors of green, a Funnel and an expo value connected to it. And then what we will do is inside here we'll right click, create a blueprint act class, and I'll call this pipe teleport, and we'll open this up. Now inside here I'm going to add my pipe first of all. And I'll also add a collision. So a box collision would do. Now we can drag this up and place it right at the top. You also want to make sure one thing that if you, if you select your pipe, so in your original um, static mesh that you imported, inside here you want to make sure that the collision is set to project default so, the, so your player can't fall through the hole down here. So once you have checked that, you want to go in here. So just make sure the box is placed just above so the player can actually access it. Then you go to Event Graph, right click, on Overlap, make sure you have your box selected. So Event on Begin Overlap. What we'll do is Set Collision enabled for the pipe and we'll do no collision and thereafter let's say about ladder delay after three seconds we'll select the same two and control c control v we will enable the collision and then compile this so we are done here next thing we need is we need to drag out our blueprint now down here. I'm just going to place it about here. And so wherever this pipe is in the world, you want to go to your modes, go to volumes, and drag out a trigger volume. And we'll place this. Just delete that one. We bring out another one. So drag out a trigger volume. And by the time it takes me to, if you can't find it, just press F and it should come to your view because sometimes it just places it randomly. So now I'll select this and I'll make this really small. So about 0.1 of its original size. Just going to turn down my camera speed. So let's try a little bigger size, 0.2. And we can bring this up. 
Just make sure it's placed below the um, top. And now we can go ahead to our level blueprint. <coughs> now this is the one that I'm, I'm currently using, so making sure you have this box selected. You might want to name um, it here as well properly. So we'll do on overlap. So on again overlap. And then you want to follow the same setup here, so we'll add a delay of about one second. And then teleport. So for that I'm going to grab my third person character in my scene. So right here. Then right click and create a reference. Then teleport. And the target location would be um, wherever you have made your scene. So your underground scene, mine is right here. So you can search here for a target and you can drag this out and drop it here. Then you select this, right click and get actor location. Just realized I was um, talking to you guys but not having this on the main screen um, as the one I'm, I'm recording on. So here is my setup basically. So having selected your trigger box, you right click um, on actor begin overlap. You add a trigger volume, then a delay of one seconds, then teleport, and make a reference to your side scroller character, and then teleport target and the actor location down here. Now we compile this, and we can click play. Now if we go down here. Also, one more thing we need to do is we'll head back to our blueprint for the pipe. So, ignoring this at the moment, what we'll do here is we'll actually choose a key. So, I'll look for F and type input. And so, when F is pressed, this will happen. So on overlap, we will enable inputs, and we'll get player controller. We'll connect that here, and we'll just go and find our box again. So the box inside the box inside here, and right click, and on end overlap. We will do disable input. And we can connect the player controller into player controller again. Now, if we go ahead, we click play, we jump on top of the thing, we press F, our character goes down, and then he's teleported down here. So, this is it, guys. I hope this video found this useful, and I do apologize since I was recording the wrong screen for a bit. But I hope um, you guys got up to speed and you guys know how I did this. So just to recap. So the actual teleport is handled by um, enabling the input on our player controller. And when we press the key, the collision is disabled so the character falls through. He hits the... Um, let me go to the... So our character hits the um, second trigger volume. And after one second delay, he is teleported to our next place, which is the underworld down here. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.